Welcome, foolish mortals, to the second episode of Blue Sky Beauty. Uh, my name is Victoria Fox. I'm going to be your host, your ghost host. And today we are tackling, if you haven't already noticed, <laughs> the Haunted Mansion, one of my all-time favorite Disney attractions. Um, I really wanted to kind of do a representative look here. There's so much lore with the Haunted Mansion. How do you possibly pick one thing to do a makeup on. Um, so I wanted to capture the design aspects that I think are pretty awesome. So got got to give that wallpaper a shout out. And I also kind of wanted to do a glam ghoul look on the face, if you will. Um, I love the way that the ghosts in the Haunted Mansion are painted. It's probably one of my favorite things because yes, they're dead, but they are the most vibrant shades of green and blue and purple and they look fab. So. Let's get this thing going. First, we'll tackle the basics, concealer, foundation, powder, and brows. Here, I'm using e.l.f. concealer in light, L'Oreal's color match in fair, Rimmel's translucent powder, and Benefit's goof-proof eye pencil in number three. Next, we're adding color to the neck and chest, wallpaper purple to be exact. Here, I'm using Meron's Paradise Aqua Color in purple. These are water activated paints, so it's handy to have a glass of water nearby. Be sure to cover all the way up to the ears and under the chin. The paint may go on a little patchy at first, so don't be afraid to put a few layers on for full coverage. Now we'll focus on the face. The color we're going for here is just shy of an ectoplasm green. And yes, the green stuff in the background of the Madame Leota scene at the Haunted Mansion is confirmed ectoplasm. You're welcome. Taking a greenish colored paint like Ben Nye's Magic Ink Aqua Paint in Seafoam and a face brush, Cover your face and ears. The goal here is to have a washy consistency so that the skin looks like it's tinted green. So adding a fair amount of water to the paint is necessary. Next, I'm adding a green color, like vinyl from the Kat Von D Mi Vita Loca palette, all over the seafoam color. Here I'm stippling the color randomly, just to give the skin tone some breakup and dimension. If you're using a shimmery color like vinyl, it'll also give your complexion some shine.
Next step, contouring. Contour that green skin with a bright blue color like Kat Von D's synth. Here I applied it to the cheeks, crease of the chin, nose, jawline, cupid's bow, and under eye bags. And I also blended it down from the top of the forehead. We're going for a more theatrical look here, so it's okay if your contour is bold and not completely blended. Add some color to the apples of your cheeks and tip of your nose with a darker green shadow. Here I'm using Kat Von D's Misfit. Now for some highlight. Add an iridescent blue like the color Sapphire from Kat Von D's Alchemist palette to the cheekbones and bridge of your nose. Now let's focus on the eyes. Add a blue shadow all over the entire lid. Here I use Synth once again. Next, darken your crease, blending out slightly with a black eyeshadow and fluffy eyeshadow brush. Here I use black metal from the same palette. Now add some wallpaper purple, or Kat Von D's Echo if we're being technical, to the edges of the black eyeshadow, blending up and out, almost making a winged point at the corner of the eyes. Making both sides even is a task, so take your time. Blend out the edges of the eyeshadow with a shimmery white shadow, like Kat Von D's Skulls. Redefine that black crease a little and add some black eyeshadow in a thin line underneath the waterline, stopping about halfway. Eyeliner time. Here I'm using a Wet n Wild eyeliner pen in black. We're going for a very dramatic, Madame Leota level eyeliner realness here, so don't be afraid to layer it on. Make a cat eye shape, flicking it out dramatically at the ends.
And now mascara, mascara, mascara. I'm using my personal fave, L'Oreal's Voluminous. Next, fill your brows in lightly with the black eyeshadow you used before. Blend between the brow and your eyeshadow edge, once again with that shimmery white tone. Next, add a touch of iridescent blue under the corner of the brow and on the inner corner of the eye. I once again use the color Sapphire from the Alchemist palette. Blend down slightly from the corner of the eye into the under eye bags. For the lips, I'll be using Kat Von D's Everlasting Liquid Lipstick in Dagger, which is a nice blue-gray color. Taking a small brush, I'm then going in with the color Aisha, a light purple, and blending it out in the center. Next, line that waterline with a white liner. Here I'm using Nyx's Jumbo Pencil in Milk. Now for the main event, the wallpaper. First outline your desired designs with an eyeliner pen. I'm using the Wet n Wild one from before. It doesn't have to be exact, have fun! Next, draw a thick line of black, about two inches thick to be exact, at the top of your neck using black paint, carrying it up under the chin and ears. Here I'm using Maron's Paradise Aqua Color in black. Next, fill in all of your designs with the black paint using a small detail brush.
Now, add the whites of the eyes to the monsters in your pattern. It's okay if you carry outside the lines a bit, that's what the next step is for. Fix those edges and clean them up, once again using your black paint and a detail brush. Last but not least, add some dimension to the wallpaper by adding a darker purple eyeshadow, like Kat Von D's Anthem, around the edges of your designs with a small brush. And that's it, looking beautiful. <laughs> well, here's our finished look. I did add some spider webs to my hair, teased it up a bit, and added a spider clip to kind of finish off the look. Um, thanks so much for joining me once again. I'm beyond excited about the next look that I'll be bringing you guys. It's definitely going to have a lot to do with something that's coming to the Orlando area around that time frame. Um, but until then, I definitely look like a grim grinning ghost right now, so I think I'm going to go out and socialize. Till next time!